organizing my beauty room it was like so bad before and i couldn't take it anymore and i had let me turn the music i don't know why i left it on i'm sorry so this entire floor was full of like not 50 maybe like 30 boxes 25 20 boxes of like pr packages and makeup um these are empty garbage these are just hair boxes most of them are probably gonna go in the garbage i don't think there's any hair inside it's like hair videos i've done two of them are from two companies i still need to do a video for i gotta go through like like uh hair ties and scrunchies and chains that's a bag of like used hair i guys <laughs> i know some of you guys know this is some stuff i get from my wax bar that i finally found like this exfoliating brush is so good it's like a dry exfoliating brush and you use it to get rid of ingrowns before you get in the shower anyways um a lot of these are like fake jewelry so i'm gonna end up throwing them out because they're like rusty anyways this is just a bag of box hair dye if you guys saw my um tutorial on how i got my red hair this is the hair dye that i used that caused a disaster for me so I have four boxes of this that I haven't used, so I'm going to see if I can exchange it and probably just get some natural hair products for myself, honestly. Um, I don't need all this hair dye. So, um, yeah, garbage. Um, and then these are all the ones that I've gone through so far that I've emptied out. So these are all going in the garbage. And that's my Christmas tree stuff. So these are going to go downstairs to the storage unit. But um, I'll show you guys the room so far. I just emptied another bag of some goodies I had from Gen Beauty last year, like in the Ipsy bag. So I'm going to go through them and pick what I want to keep. Anything I'm like I don't need to keep is going in this box that I have, which is my giveaway box that I'm planning. There's a lot of things in here. Like, there's actually so much lipsticks and stuff, you guys. Crazy. We got a brow kit from ABH. I want to put together a really nice giveaway. We got some mascaras from Benefit. But um, I had to take a break because my back is killing me. But I'll show you guys the progress so far. These weren't on here before. I had these at my old house in my room. But I just never... Honestly, I really procrastinated on getting this beauty room together. I was going to vlog it. But it wasn't even like I was just organizing and rearranging. Like actually none of these stuff were in here that was in here but these i all took out of box like there was just so much to do and there was like no space in here before because of how packed up it was with boxes and just things that i needed to get out of the way so that's why i didn't <laughs> like do a vlog so i'm not even like doing like a full out organizing getting it pretty today i'm just getting rid of all those boxes and and all the garbage that I have in my apartment that needs to get the hell out. So this is not like an actual thing. But when I actually organize it and try to make it look pretty, I'm going to film that. There's just so much to do right now. And I don't have space. <laughs> like I just need to get it done. So that's why I didn't film it. Because there's really, you know, I'm literally just trying to, you know. And then I'm putting like, all my everyday palettes and products and lip products and all that stuff on here so that i can make more room in these drawers to put away some makeup i have some things from estee lauder i went to an event last year and i never used anything this one i okay i've never tried the foundation but when i went to the event you guys the girl <laughs> that was showing this she okay she was a little bit darker than me and at the time, Estee Lauder didn't have her shade or even my shade. So she recommended me use this shade. It's like probably two or three shades lighter. And she's like, you just put it on and then you put like your actual foundation color over it from like another brand. And I was like, what? Does it even make sense? So I just never touched this. But I'm going to go to Estee Lauder like in Sephora and actually try out the foundation because I heard it's really good. Global Anti-Asian Cell Power Cream. Okay, that's empty now. And then I got this in there as well. I've heard so much about this Advanced Night Repair Serum and stuff. So I'm really, really excited to try so this. My this skin. Is the aftermath. I'm finally done. These are... Ooh. <clears throat> These are all the boxes that I had in my beauty room. And also 
in this big box that was just in my living room that I was like trying to not trying to avoid I was honestly just avoiding it because like it's just you know overwhelming but um I'm so happy I'm finally done nice and clean I haven't seen like that corner be empty in a really long time <laughs> um one of my filming lights aren't in here right now it's actually right here is I'm actually like I want to get another filming light and get rid of these two or not get rid of the two soft box lights but like put them in my storage and use them when i actually really need them because honestly my filming room like this den area is pretty small and i don't get to have as much space as i'd like or that i thought i was gonna have with filming even to the point where i can't even fit backdrops in here because like i mean this is quite a bit of space i don't know if you guys can tell on camera but if i were to remove this and then just get a really good light. Obviously, it's going to be kind of pricey. But a really good light that could get rid of the space that these two big-ass lights take up. And then I can move this up. Then I can fit my backdrops. And then actually, when I'm filming, you know, I have like a background. Because that's actually what I wanted. My background would not look like this. Like, it would actually be decorated. But that's what I wanted. And I don't know if you guys can tell in my videos. But you just see a wall because I, can't, I couldn't fit any backdrops back here. It's just like, I don't like clutter. So... Um, this is all that's left. These are just bags of, like, lashes that I need to organize and some that need to be thrown out. This is just a bag of all, like, um, face masks, like the sheet masks and stuff, like the Pure Lease. And these things, I have so much of these, so I'm so excited. I forgot I had them. Giveaway box and, like, things that I kind of just put to the side. And that's it. I'm going to Swiffer now. <coughs> My nice clean clean desk it was so dirty before this is the best i could do it's still like you know little spots there's an eyelash um there's some brushes in that pencil case but um i'm really happy with everything right now so yeah hey guys let me just turn this down before i get copyrighted my hair needs to be done i just have it in a ponytail my nails were looking so crazy so you know i had to go get them done and you guys know i'm basic i'm playing i always for the most part do like solid colors and stuff so my nail tech was like okay so what are we doing today like he always tries to get me to you know step out of my comfort zone and i've been on pinterest a lot more than usual lately like I've been going off on Pinterest and reposting stuff to my page. Home decor, like living room, bedroom. Um, yeah, living room, bedroom. And also like nails, hair, just like outfits, like everything, you guys. So I've been finding some really nice nail designs on Pinterest that have like, you know, like glitter and diamonds. And typically like I don't really do that stuff, but I found some stuff like for inspo. So he freestyled they are shorter than how they used to be which i'm fine with that but um on this nail we have three studs there did um like the glitter nail polish and then added like the actual little what do you call this sequins glitter on top and then we got the diamonds going here this one like i could go without honestly not even that it's just like i don't like the diamonds being too big but and then as you guys can see, all the nails are ombre except for the... Can we focus? Except for the ring finger. And then on this hand, it's the exact same thing. Except um, the pinky only has two diamonds instead of three. What do you guys think about my nails? This is like a lot for me. But I love this. Um, I have done something like this before. Like on, on all my nails. So, But um, yeah, I'm taking it. And I do ombre often too. So it's really just the diamonds I'm getting with. So, the next thing I'm going to be taking care of is my hair. My hair appointment was supposed to be this morning at 11 a.m. However, my girl had to cancel or reschedule for later on today. Sorry, I don't know how these crumbs got on my chair because I haven't been eating in my car. She's going to let me know uh, when to come or she's going to let me know ahead of time. So, I decided, you know, let me go get my nails done. So I'm going to go to my mom's now. It's um, The nail shop is literally, like when I say literally five minutes from my mom's house. I'm hungry I'm gonna finish editing this video and upload and yeah hopefully there's some food so that I don't have to buy anything so I'll see you guys when I'm getting my hair done in a few hours hopefully it's like really soon so
Oh my girl just slaying my shit. Okay. I was here like taking boomerangs and pictures and videos on my phone and I almost forgot to update you guys. I want to show you guys it now because it's like fresh and we don't know what it's going to look like tomorrow. Obviously I'm going to make sure I tie it down but you know, when you go to sleep it's not going to look exactly the same. I need to curl my actual hair there. Make sure you guys hit up Aaliyah Styles Boutique for your hair needs. So yeah, make sure you guys check out her page i will link it in the description part down below and also so i'm wearing at uni's hair it's kind of noisy let me close the door because i gotta pee but um i just wanted to let you guys know also what hair i'm wearing so i'm wearing uni's hair and she put in two bundles of the 26 and then for the ponytail i have in a 22 inch bundle because of course the ponytail is supposed to be shorter than the rest of the hair and this is Peruvian Deep Wave. This is the same hair I wore when I was in Dubai. I love this hair texture, you guys. Hey guys, like, so I got home not too long ago. I'm so tired, like I'm so ready to go to bed. But um, I wanna show you guys this. So I'm starting to break out into tiny little, ew, like bumps, hives. So I don't know what's going on, but if you guys saw my previous videos, I look sorry i'm so tired <laughs> if you guys saw my previous videos on when i had like a breakout i think two years ago now and i use like the aloe and tea tree and all that stuff this is how it started um and i'm like panicking like low-key so i just rinsed my face with a gentle face wash just this gentle facial cleanser from um first aid beauty and then um I toned my face with witch hazel, of course, because that's what helped get rid of it, too. And I use that regularly anyways. And then I went on top of my skin with some tea tree oil, but I diluted it with water. Um, this is how I got rid of it when it happened, but I hope, like, this actually stops it from getting any worse. And that it's not just, like, starting off and then gonna get worse like it did last time. So, um, pray for me. But yeah, my eyes are literally burning. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed. Hey guys, so I um, just got out the shower, did my brows, I'm about to do my makeup. Um, he actually changed the time to the dinner to earlier, so I was gonna film this entire look, but I'm not gonna get to anywhere, obviously, because of, you know, time reasons. So, um, I'm gonna redo my makeup tomorrow of a look I actually wanna film, and then just like, make it a whole video with my outfit, but, um, this is what my face is looking like since um, last night. There's still, I'm sorry about the music. I'm gonna try to make this fast so that I don't get copyrighted, but there's still a lot of texture and little bumps on my face. They did go down, but it's definitely there. This side is not as, it's my nose ring by the way. This side's not as a uh, thingy. Like there's really not much on this side, but this side, which is usually the side I get it the most on, it's just like, uh, I hate wearing makeup when my skin's like this because you just see it, like, all it does is enhance the texture, but, you know what, whatever. You know, that's what, um, face tunes for. I gotta get a slaying ass pick tonight, so. And I haven't gotten, like, dressed up in forever, well, it feels like, so. I'll see you guys when I'm at the dinner or, like, when I'm ready to leave, but you guys, you know, my look. Hopefully everything goes together, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys in ready my face is smashed you guys loving the makeup loving these earrings i got from aldo i'm finally wearing them for the first time me asking us on our come and feel dirty can make your dream dirty never know you what up i want you cocky dog Yes, jumpsuit is from House of CB, honey. I'm trying to figure out my shoes. I'm either gonna wear my red suede boots or these open toe um, sandals. Look how you make me feel. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go now. I gotta go. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Say hey, Rochelle. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, it's really cold. Okay, it's this way. Thank God. Oh, it's 
Oh, yep, yeah, let's go now. <laughs> Trying to run. Woo. Okay. Like. <laughs> they won't make us down. I know. Uh, and there's always like cracks and crevices. I know, you have to be careful. Yeah. I'm not trying to drop right now. You have to drop. <laughs> right? Let's get shoe cam. We'll get more of a close ups inside. Woo! Bitch, it's, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Welcome Ooh. to Canada. I was about to say <laughs> Water just dropped on my lip. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's for real. Like, okay, we almost there, girl. You can yeah. see it. We had Joey's. So you guys, look, this is like my place to eat. It's like I go here so much. Not this location, but I go to Joey's like in general. Just so pretty much. Like, it's My, my uh, heel just went in a little crack. <laughs> you good? You kept it Rihanna vibes. It is packed, you guys. Freaking like Whatever you reviewer have. for Joey. You should. I've had it. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, so like, we're supposed to be going to the club after for her Airbnb. And I'm ready. Grandma is ready for bed. Grandma is ready. Well, I'm gonna get out because I haven't seen my mom. We have not been together since college. So
don't need to whisper that well but um i'm whispering because we just got back to the airbnb and there's um like two people sleeping so two people didn't go um but we just got back went to the club it started raining outside and my shit started curling up so i'm just trying to finesse and cover it but um we didn't take any pictures at the restaurant or before i we went to the club um so we were just taking some pictures me chanel and her little sister were just taking some pictures i finally just got my pictures my feet are burning I'm about to change my shoes because i can't do it anymore hey guys it's um the next day it's sunday um and i know usually i go to my mom's typically not always but 90 percent of the time i go to my mom's house for dinner on sundays and like obviously I, like see my family but i'm not gonna go today um i have to finish some work and just like the whole commute it just kills so much time and then i just i'm not gonna be able to focus if i'm around everybody so i'm gonna just stay home yeah, and I also actually have to refilm a whole video that I uh, did a, a collab with, with. It's a really big brand, so um, yeah, I have to refilm the whole entire thing. Um, I'm not really going to get into that because, of course, I don't want to explain why and stuff. I mean, like that would be like literally breaching my contract. And I mean, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, so I'm just like a little, not a little, I'm just, I don't know, I feel not sad today, I just, I don't know how to describe how I feel, but I don't feel excited or like, I mean, nobody feels excited all the time. I honestly, you guys, I just, I just want to like not do anything, like. As long as I don't want to do anything, I feel like, because I've been doing stuff and I've been editing all day, I cleaned and stuff. I'm actually about to head to the grocery store too to get some salmon because I'm going to just make some dinner. But I don't know, I just, I'm not feeling today. My mood is very like, I just feel bummy and just, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like I was crying. I wasn't crying. I wasn't crying. I don't know why my eyes are watery. Um, I mean, I guess I should tell you guys, um, I got my eyebrows done finally, and when I went, mind you guys, I haven't gone to get my eyebrows done, like threaded, since the day before I left to go to New York and then Dubai, and that was like November, like, November like 7th or 8th. So I've been going on my eyebrows for a pretty good while and I went to go get my eyebrows done. Okay, before I tell you guys what happened when I got my eyebrows done, okay, so I've noticed I've been noticing I've been doing things I shouldn't be doing. Like I um I pull out my eyebrow hairs. I've been doing it for a while, but I never really like I know I've been doing it and then I complain about my eyebrows. But I don't do it like just because ooh, I'm gonna pull out my eyebrows. Like I don't know if it's like I mean like I researched and I think it's like something to do with like anxiety like people that like pull out their eyelashes or their eyebrows are just like you know like you pull out your hair and you're not supposed to be doing that i don't know what it is but i will literally sit here i don't do it all the time but i do it enough to wear you know that's probably why my eyebrows are a little fucked up i'll sit here and i'll like pull at any like long like i don't know i just pull at the hairs especially not over here but i'll pull at the hairs over here because they just feel long like if i can feel it i pull it out and it just like i don't know it's so satisfying no it feels so therapeutic to pull it out and then once i see the hand in my hand obviously it's like so satisfying but then it's like bitch you're literally <laughs> pulling out your eyebrows that's why the side is like that so it's been growing back too because like i've always struggled with the hair being like non-existent right here especially because like before the last time i got my eyebrows done my eyebrow lady was on vacation i went to somebody else there fucked up my brows whatever so when she was doing my eyebrows before she even touched this one she was like did you do your like did you try to do them yourself and i was like no from she said that i knew there was going to be a problem so um 
not to mention because i've been growing it out for so long i'm like yes yeah, like the hair is finally growing back there was a little some something right here but she had to it was just like out of shape and then because i pulled out hair she this is like what she had to do so so basically i'm just i'm over the trying to get the thick brows back like they used to be a while ago so uh i'm just gonna be rocking thin brows from now on because i grab my eyebrows for damn near like over three months and this is the result so yep yeah, we're keeping it thin we're keeping it thin i'm not i'm over it so yeah i'm just gonna go to the grocery store um i want you guys to hear this wind right now it calmed down a little bit but um it's th this is some like i don't even know the words natural disaster type of wind like honestly you guys and of course it started getting bad as soon as I opened my door. I just got to the supermarket or grocery store. No, you guys, I I opened my door and my door went flying. Like, I don't even know how to, ex oh my God. Like she's literally like, she's flying. She's <laughs> flying, it's not even funny. I just opened my car door and the impact of the wind basically through my door all the way to where it couldn't I don't even know how to explain it I'm like lost for words but my car door is fucked up the wind was so strong that when I opened my car door my car door flung all the way out and hit the other car and it hit it really fucking hard sorry really hard and now when I was like I'm trying to look on the mirror to see if my car door is fucked. I don't see anything. I know that car has a dent. I feel really bad. It was not my fault. But when I open my door, I can't even do it with one hand because it's going to go flying. When I open my car door, there's... When I open my car door, when I close it, I have to close it extra hard now. My car is moving. I'm so scared right now, you guys. Like, holy shit. Look at this, look at this. This uh, l light post is moving so hard. My car is shaking. I'm, I'm honestly like, I'm not even gonna lie, like I'm really scared to get out. I don't know if I'm being extra or what, but I'm just terrified. And I know if I go outside, my little ass is gonna go flying. Like literally, I'm like 100 pounds. I'm like some change. Yep. I'm so mad. Hey guys. Um, so, I don't even know where to start. Um, I just finished, I got all this fuzz all over me, but I just finished um, cleaning the hell out of my apartment. I don't know what it is about me cleaning at random times of the night. It's, what time is it? It's 1.52. Yeah, so, whew, no, you guys, I'm out of breath, sorry. I just went downstairs to my car to grab um, a rug that I purchased today. Um, not to mention, I'm so small, and then I had to <laughs> uh, get a cart from downstairs. It took me so long to even, like, pull the rug out of my car. If you guys are wondering how it even got in the car, somebody at HomeSense helped me get it in the car. Well, they did it for me, I didn't do it. But yeah, anyway, so, I got my rug. I haven't rolled it out yet. But I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put this here so y'all can see. Ah, uh, this is good. Whew, so yeah, I guess I'm just gonna show you guys. We're gonna like see it together. Um, before I like go through the extreme of moving my couch, I wanna see if I'm gonna want it underneath the couch or just I need to see how big and how much space out <laughs> it takes up. Oh, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. And she's so fluffy. This is like basically exactly what I wanted. Yes, okay. I just wanna see, hold on. This is also Ooh, my favorite song right now. 
This is gonna be the hard task, which is trying to get all this on here. So, you know, before something breaks, I'm gonna take all these off the table, even though I literally just rearranged everything, but wow. it's whatever. The difference a rug makes, like, wow. Um, it's crazy. It's funny because I knew the kind of rug I wanted all along, but I kept looking at like so many different designs and stuff. Like I was gonna do a black, like all black cowhide rug. And then I was gonna do a multi-colored rug. I went to Home Sense last week. That rug that I was gonna get with the black and the gold and the cream and the gray, it would have been perfect as well, but um, I just love a white or cream or like an ivory rug. I just feel like it makes the space look bigger. It makes the space look neater and just cleaner and overall, I just love white. White is just, it's pure. <laughs> it's a color of purity and I really, really like it. I love this um, wall art. This one, I think I'm gonna bring back. Um, I am getting some more wall art, like some really big ones. So, I mean, my wall isn't done, but the one in the middle, like, I'm just not feeling it. I know I wanted it for the main reason that it had a gold frame. See how I still have the tag on it? Yeah, because I knew um, I was, like, on the fence about keeping it. I need to get some more pillows, like, some black and gold or, like, I don't know, something a little bit more glam than, like, just, like, plain color or, like, a multicolor pillow. But in the meantime, I'm so happy with how everything's looking. I love these you guys i got these at home since yesterday love them flowers make the biggest difference and it's funny i bought this candle a week ago and it is not funny yep <laughs> i love this pineapple home sense home sense i love these coasters love my notebook home sense this candle which is milk and honey is from marshall's and then this uh what do you call this again this is from home sense as well home sense is my best friend coco's bed over there home sense um, Coco's bowls over there, home scents, home scents. I love the chrome right here, especially because um, my mirror is chrome and gold. I gotta bring the cart back downstairs. So. There we go. These are from Ikea, so I don't know why we have these, but thank God for them. So, you know, I'm not even going to talk shit. Because this is the only way I'm able to bring up big things that I get from my place. <laughs> Especially because I live alone. And we had so much in my building before, and they just keep going missing. So I don't know who is, you know, taking these Ikea carts and keeping them in their unit. But, you know, when I was just downstairs getting it... The guy was like, um, uh, make sure you bring it back. I was like, oh shit, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> shit, hold on guys. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm struggling. <sighs> okay. Yeah, anyways, I was trying to tell you guys. Um, I went to go get the cart and the guy's like, what's your unit? And I'm like, obviously told my unit. He's like, okay, make sure you bring it back. I was like, yeah, I'm just bringing up my rug. I don't, you know, what am I going to do with this in my unit? <laughs> Nothing. Y'all was like, ugh, I'm about to go. I'm about to go upstairs, have a nice night. I feel like I did so much today. Well, I did, so. I just love feeling productive.
No problem. So excited to be done cleaning and bringing up the rug. So the hard part is finally done. Come a little baby. The heat's not even on right now and I'm hot. Which is crazy because I'm always cold in my apartment. Just to show you guys here again. <laughs> Alright guys, I'ma light this candle. I'm gonna catch up on some Wentworth because I've been watching that. I've been loving it. A lot of you guys told me to start watching it and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna just do that, edit a video. They call it a night. I'm so tired, like...